Hello everyone, Max Power with another video review. This time I have the Ghostbuster Terror Dog by Chronicle Collectibles. Um, there are two versions of this, the Standard Edition, which is an open-ended open edition, I believe. Um, looking at their website, there was no indication of how many they were going to make on the Standard Edition. Uh, and then they have the Legacy Edition, which is what I have here. And that one is 250 that they're making. Uh, the only difference between both is the plaque that you, that you see uh, that I put down there. Um, that is a signed plaque by Randall Cook. Uh, he was the uh, stop motion animator that was in charge of doing the stop motion for the puppeteering. And that was in charge of the maquette for the... Um, for the terror dog there's additional information on their website if you want to take a look at that there's also some videos uh kind of explaining what randall cook's uh role was in the uh ghostbuster movie uh anyway so <clears throat> i got this maquette uh through a black friday deal during the holidays and uh considering this item is about six hundred dollars i was happy to say that i got him for 350 bucks, which was a steal considering what it is and how much it normally costs. So I could not pass them up. Uh, it's an item that I haven't, I rarely seen uh, made anywhere else. And so uh, when that uh, sale came up, I snatched them up. So <clears throat> the one thing I really like about this piece is one solid piece. It's very well made. I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, I don't, I can't, couldn't find my tripod and I was hoping I could find my tripod, but I couldn't find my tripod. So I'm going to use my hand here and do two things at the same time. So excuse me if my video is a little shaky, but that's the best I could do without a tripod. Uh, as you can see, the details on this are pretty nice. This is supposed to be, be uh, sculpted from the original mold of the maquette or the puppet the puppet that was uh, done in the uh, Ghostbuster movie. So this is original stuff. This is not something that someone sculpted uh, just out of pictures. This is actually a, a maquette made from the mold of the original movie. So that is uh, pretty nice. Everything that you see from every wrinkle is what the puppet had. There was a few design, uh, and you can find that in the video that they have from Chronicles explaining a little bit more. But there, the puppet that they used originally didn't have the mouth uh, open like that. They actually had to take other molds uh, where the mouth was open. And so they are able to kind of use one mold and kind of get use the other mold to... Uh, make that adjustment and give it give this maquette its own uh, unique um, uh, take uh, with the mouth open like this uh, again there's some more explanation on their own website you can take a look at that so that's pretty cool to hear the item comes with as I mentioned the plaque so this is the plaque uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take the plaque here so you know, everyone can take a look at it is a plaque signed plaque by uh, Randall Cook, another saying that he's approved uh, this item. So really nice gold color plaque. There are some designs on the side of it. Uh, the uh, the temple that you see in the movie uh, that is all kind of a bronze color. It does have dimension to it, so it's not just uh, uh, a painted on here. It's uh, Really nice detail sculpted on there on both sides. I'm going to bring it a little bit closer to the light so you guys can see really the color. Again, it's kind of a bronze look to it. Um, both sides. The, the bottom, just a velvet so you can place it on, on a table. The And there's the Randall William Cook signature. Now all the information that I have here says it's signed by Randall, but 
I don't know. I, I'm not sure if it was if he actually signed it. I mean, he approved it, but uh, I'm not too sure that that's his original signature. Like he actually hand signed them. There's no information on there other than it was approved, and uh, um, uh, so his signature maybe was uh, uh, okayed to be used. So. But I don't know, maybe someone uh, has more information if that's his actual signature. It's kind of hard to tell. But again, I was going based on what information that was on online. And there was one area where it said that he signed the, um, the certificate uh, because the certificate said it's signed. But this plaque is, uh, could be just a uh, kind of a printed or copy uh, print on uh, from Randall's signature all right so that's the, the legacy really that is the only difference between uh, both uh, both uh, both versions of it here is the uh, certificate of authenticity again like cinema kit they actually use a real nice uh, paper that shows uh, that it is uh, certification there with a little uh, hologram seal there from Chronicles. There's a uh, Randall's uh, signature. It says here that it is signed by him. So it is approved by him. Okay. Now, sadly, I have to say that uh, they, you know, they mentioned on the website, there's 250, uh, 250 of the legacy version made, but there's nowhere on anything on the certificate on the on the terror dog itself on really even the box itself that indicates what number this is so it's i know there's 250 of them out there but there's no information of which one i got so that kind of bothers me a little bit uh the only at least well certificate, the terror dog, the box itself. Uh, however, you can tell which one you actually got. The only way to do it is if you look at the, not the box that it came with, which I would, I was kind of hoping it'd be on the actual box, but on the shipping box. On the shipping box, it does say that I got number 37. Of course, it doesn't say of how many. The only reason I know is because the website says 250. So that's a little disappointing. That means I, I mean, although I'm planning to keep the shipping box, you know, if I ever want to get rid of him, I have a shipping box. But unfortunately, that is the only way you can tell, or you can tell someone what it, what number of dog, uh, terror dog or the collectible you ended up having. So I thought that was kind of a, you know, like in the cinema kits, the certificate actually has uh, something on here that's one of, and so therefore you kind of know what you're getting. But here, only the shipping box identifies what uh, edition you are actually getting. All right, um, let me quickly show you the box that it comes in. A lot of people do like boxes. And so real quickly, the box is really, really nicely done. Uh, some real nice details on the actual box. You have the Ghostbuster logo kind of imprinted in the background. So that's really nice, nicely done. Uh, I really like the top. It's the uh, the temple, you know, where Gozer is right here. And it's really subtle. I mean, you if you were to look at the box directly, you couldn't really see it immediately. It's kind of shadowed in there. So really nicely done how they did that. Uh, nothing on the sides, but the back does have some information. And uh, I'll, you guys here, I'll put it closer. So if you want to stop the video, you can read it. But pretty much everything that you see here is on the uh, certificate. So, and it's got just more pictures of the terror dog itself. Some pictures of the uh, the movie. And uh, there's more information there identifying this to be the Legacy Series. So, 
On the other side is just the uh, the proton beam. Kind of across the Ghostbuster logo. All right, so let's go back to the collectible here. Uh, again, really nice detail on this. Um, I think with Chronicle, with the last couple pieces that I received, I, and I've mentioned this on uh, to someone uh, that received a, a collectible from Chronicles, I kind of mentioned that uh, the things that I've received, the Terminator over there, uh, they've kind of been a little flat on the color. Um, you know, this was supposed to be just like the terror dog in the movie and it is kind of a flat gray i mean the detail is phenomenal uh you know i for me i think that again the paint is a little flat uh, let me I'm getting some shadows here from my flashlight but uh the paint is a little flat for me but i guess that's maybe how it was designed so you know, it's not like I can say, oh, it should have been this way, it should have been the other way. But it's it's kind of that, uh, just kind of a gray, flat, um, you know, maybe uh, like in the picture over there, the tarot doc has a little bit of a gloss to him. Um, but, you know, I, I think they just kind of stuck to what the maquette looked like. So if there was anything, any type of gloss or anything on his skin i might have been just kind of a uh, lighting so now there might be a little bit of a sheen around this section but that's really because of the have a, a bright led light over here kind of showing so there is a little bit of a uh, of a color to them uh, but it's again when you get the actual item uh it just it just it's it's great it's great but aside from that, the details are fantastic. From the skin, I'm going to get really close in here. You can see details. Uh, again, this is straight from the mold, from the original uh, maquette mold, the puppet that they use. So everything that you saw in the, in the movie is a, a, by... As far as skin texture and everything is what you're getting here. That's what you're paying not only for Randall's approval, but also uh, for what you're getting here. And then being one solid piece, you know, the $600 sticker, it's up to you whether you want to pay for it. But um, I was glad to get it on sale. The eyes, really nicely done. Real red. I like that. Uh, have they lit up that would have been really really nice but you know with anything that has lighting feature that means they would actually have to hollow something out <coughs> in order to put the batteries and to make it work and in this case i'm glad they didn't do that because again for me having a piece that demands you know over 500 dollars to a thousand plus uh, it should be one piece so i'm glad they didn't uh do that on this and uh, to me for them to have added a light feature would have probably uh, cheapened it a little bit for me personally right over here uh, the jowl area uh, I think they could add a little bit more gloss or sheen right here it's just really like a flat red um, so Maybe a little bit closer to what you see in the tongue. Maybe that color here would have been nice. Um, but maybe they just wanted to stick to what the original looked like. But you know, anyone that gets this piece would, you know, I would probably say that that'd be, you know, maybe something that they can do. Maybe add a little sheen here um, to just give it more of a drooling effect. But other than that, this is fantastic just a fantastic piece you know I'm not a big person on magnets either magnets like the sideshow collectible stuff they love to use magnets and you know if they're strong magnets I don't mind so much but for the most part 
uh, just about every collectible that I've gotten that has a magnet feature, something that's, you know, like a, a hand that's magnetized, um, just comes off easily. And so I'm not a big fan of that. In this particular um, maquette, they actually did do a magnet feature. And I understand why. I think to give you better value uh, for this item. Because as you, you know in the movie there are two uh, terror dogs. There's the key master and the gatekeeper. <coughs> Excuse me. And what identifies them is the, the way the horns are on the creature. One is facing up, one is facing down. So in order to give you greater value instead of having you buy two separate ones, one with the horns down, one with the horns up, uh, I really like the idea that they did the magnet thing here. So here, you the horns are magnetized. You can remove the horns and they give you actually two separate uh, horns here which indicate uh, whether you're going to go with the key master or the, or the key master or the gatekeeper look. So here they are. They're both magnetized. They come off easily. Uh, you know, I again, this one's a tricky one because just not big into the magnet thing. But uh, again, this one made sense. And just like just about every magnet thing, it's it's got a pretty strong pull to it. But I mean, it doesn't take much to just you know maybe you're passing by, you happen to brush by it, comes off, and next thing you know, we have a broken piece. But um, again, this one is for for value purposes, so um, I'm okay with it this time around. So here you remove the two horns and you put the other two horns in there. So I'm trying to do this with one hand, guys, so uh, maybe it's the wrong horn here. Okay. Oh, sorry. There's actually a way that you can tell where it's supposed to be, and I'm just not looking, so because I'm have the camera and I'm trying to do it, do it with one hand. So let's see. This is the peg goes in this way, I believe. There we go. And then the other um, goes right in here, and the peg you just match it. They go right in there, and there you go. Now you have a different look to the terror dog. <coughs> so, again, uh, really nice that they did that. Uh, magnets are they're pretty strong considering. I don't think you can get a more stronger magnet in there. So I just have to be careful when I move him to make sure that I don't accidentally pop one of the horns off as I'm moving him. All right, uh, this piece does does not come with a stand, so there's no stand on this one at all. What you're seeing here, uh, he's barely on this here, so I'm kind of taking a risk. But again, this is a solid piece, so you know it's not like uh, something's gonna break off or anything. I'm gonna remove him, and he's quite heavy. I think someone mentioned in one of the videos that he was about 20 pounds. I, you know, he does feel pretty heavy here. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring him over to the couch so I can give you additional details as far as what you get when you move him upside down. I'm going to remove the horns because I don't want them to fall off. And, and of course, with my leg break. So I'm just going to turn them over. There we go. See, that's why... I didn't want to have the horns in there. So this is what the bottom piece looks like. Really nice details. I'm going to bring my flashlight in there to kind of give you some really good look at the back piece or the bottom piece. So because he does not have a stand, they've made the feet pretty flat so uh, you can put him uh, you, you know he's not 
off or anything like that so that was nice so that's what the bottom piece or the bottom of the of the terror dog looks like you can get in here oops again really nice detail um especially around the neck area fantastic all right let me move them back standing up okay all right here we go there's the uh legs <clears throat> you know even down to the little to the horns I mean really nicely done remove in get in there look at the level of detail in the just in the mouth alone I mean they really uh, went in there uh, and made it look like it's an actual mouth from a creature so uh, I really do like a lot of the Chronicle stuff uh, they do have kind of a niche um, licensing you know stuff that uh, it's, it's unique uh, you really have to be into it you know, like Buck Rogers and Flash Gordon and some Jurassic Park stuff. Uh, so, it's not, I don't think they're going to produce a lot of the stuff that's uh, hugely popular with, let me put them down here, hugely popular, you know, the big, big uh, licenses. I think the biggest one that I've seen is the Terminator Genesis and the uh, um, Jurassic Park stuff. Uh, but you know they they stargate and things like that that they do <clears throat> so depending if you're into that they do have some real nice stuff that uh, you can buy from them and their customer service I bought this online with uh, during their Black Friday deal and I was having a hard time using my PayPal account and I emailed them thinking oh they're not gonna back get back to me until after Black Friday and uh, I got a response right away and the, I forgot what the lady's name was but she helped me and just ran it through so I was really happy that uh, I was able to get this for that price and really happy and impressed with the customer service that they have uh, there at Chronicles. Their website's a little strange for some reason every time you look at stuff from that it says that they're they're working on their shipping tool that's been like that forever um, but um, you know that's kind of you know a lot of companies have quirky ways of doing business <clears throat> all right so the tur dog this is what you get if you decide that you want to buy the legacy dish the plaque uh, that's the extra thing that you get with the legacy edition the standard edition, you do get the two horns, you get everything else that you see here. And uh, anybody that's a Ghostbuster fan that would that is looking to get this, or if they just want something really unique that looks like a, a dog or a gargoyle or, or something like that, uh, I would uh, advise that uh, you get this. This is just one neat maquette worth you know, especially for the for what it is, uh, the six hundred dollars. We get the standard. That's even better, just because it's a little cheaper. Uh, but certainly, I'm happy with this purchase, and uh, that's all I got. So, thank you very much for watching my video. And if you have any questions, of course, put them on the comment area, and I will respond to you as soon as I can. And appreciate you watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.